Praise the Lord. Uh, tonight we we do something different from the other two nights as according to the instructions of the Lord. Uh, first night was uh, learning to speak to the Lord in uh, more of a sentences of tongues. And last night was just uh, more worship just purely in the spirit and uh, worshipping with your spirit, soul and your body. Today is in the area of prayer, worship, prophecy all mixed together. We have set up the mic over there for a specific reason. And that is when we go into tonight, some of you might go into prayer, some of you go do the worship or do whatever uh, the Lord uh, strengthens and energizes you to do. But what will happen is uh, that uh, from time to time, uh, those of you who feel like it can come up and uh, use this mic at any time and uh, read out a psalm, read out scriptures, or read out prophecies that have already been uttered. So when you're doing the reading, uh, everything is done unto the Lord. That means those who are caught in the spirit of prayer, you continue to pray. Uh, since you have the mic, it will be over all the voices anyway. And um, then, uh, but uh, you can soften if you want to hear what it is. And then if, if you're hearing what it is and you release an amen or what, you're led by the Lord. But if you're caught in the spirit and you're just in the spirit, just worshipping all through the uh, two hours, that's also fine. Uh, you don't let, need to let anything interrupt you. But what we're doing is unto the Lord where simultaneous things are happening. And tonight is like calling unto uh, releasing and declaring the prophecy of the Lord. So some of the dreams that you have, which is prophetic form, that uh, tonight, and you will know that you're supposed to come out by the inspiration of the Lord. The Lord will energize you. And uh, so while everyone is praying, and in the presence of the Lord, you're declaring unto the Lord. And the scripture that we are basing this on is because uh, tonight being the... Uh, last three days of the fast and uh, tonight being the 38th day of the fast is in Ezekiel 38 when the Lord brought Ezekiel to the valley of dry bones and the Lord said son of man can these bones live and he said O Lord God you know again he said to me was for prophesy to these bones so that's what you're doing tonight you're speaking the word of prophecy and uh, whatever and you can read it out loud if it's a written word or written thing and uh, something that the Lord has already released in your heart and when you come up here uh, people can be praying and worshipping, praying and worshipping and then you come up and you declare uh, this is a dream that the Lord has given. These are the things that the Lord has revealed. These are things that are taking place. And as you declare and declare, it get absorbed into the atmosphere of prayer and worship also. Although the prophecies have been released, uh, tonight is like a corporate thing to do together. And sometimes all the Lord instructs you is to come out and read the part of the Bible. So you came out to read like a particular psalm, just come ahead and read. You don't have to call for attention. You don't have to call everybody to stop praying. You just come and declare unto the Lord. There are angels present here. And this place, as you all know from the last two nights, is taken into the spirit dimension. Where angels and all that are watching. And it's like you come and you declare at the presence of God. The prophecy that the Lord has. And so the Lord will instruct you, will tell you, uh, as you come and then declare and then you sit down. And there's no limitation how many times you need to come up and down. But... It has to be done in the Lord, and uh, as you declare into the Lord the things that the Lord has revealed. Uh, prophecies has given, you can read out from a written prophecy that the Lord has given, that you know especially that God wants to release in this year. And so you release that, speak it forth, release that, speak it forth. Somebody will be praying, somebody will be catching it, and some might hear it. And while they are praying, they are doing two things, and they can hear you, and then there will be an amen, and then they continue praying, and continue to, to release in the Lord. And I'll flow with the Spirit, and see at which point that we uh, will move into whatever. But that's what the Lord wants to do, based on this word. And... Uh, as Elijah, uh, Ezekiel prophesied, 
And when the Lord said, prophesy and say to this, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. That says a lot. Now, while the reading is going on, you don't have to stop praying. You can pray softly, you can pray whatever way. You know, somebody's reading and you come and hear me come and you continue praying. Yeah. So, uh, the things is happening at the same time. So, like, uh, I'll demonstrate, uh, like, uh, uh, you two just continue praying out loud in the spirit. Okay. Uh, okay, pray out loud. So, yeah, a bit louder. Yeah. Uh, yeah, correct. Okay, louder still. <laughs> okay. Now, that's going on, and I'm reading. He said to me, prophesy to these bones, say to them, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, surely I will cause breath to enter into you, and you shall live. I will put sinews on you, bring flesh upon you, cover you with skin, put breath in you, you shall live. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. Thank you. Can you see that? There is an anointing in that kind of prophecy. It has never been done before. Normally, in a church service where there is a proper order, uh, you, everyone would cease and a prophet in 1 Corinthians 14 will take their turn. He says, let two or three prophesy. And then he says, when a prophet is prophesying, wait until the one finish first, then you go to the next one. So that's a different order. In this one, is prophesying during the midst of prayer. So, different things are happening at the same time. And as we enter the say, it's a declarative prophecy. And you notice the atmosphere is different. Because most of the time when a gift of prophecy or a prophet is uttering a word from the Lord, we keep silent and we hear the word of the Lord. Because God is speaking. But that's not the kind of service that we have. Uh, tonight is declaring the prophecy to creation. Declaring the prophecy to dry bones. Declaring the prophecy to nations. Declaring the prophecy to mountains. To ask them to be cast down. Declaring the prophecy to valleys to be filled. Tonight is declaring prophecy. And the atmosphere is different. And as you declare it, uh, some of the angels that are involved in it will receive strengthening. And different things will be happening in the spirit, more than uh, we can describe. And uh, it's uh, like uh, we are doing what Ezekiel was asked to do. He did nothing on the dry bones. All he did was deliver the word. But the energy of God, the Holy Spirit of God, went through the dry bones. Now, he had to prophesy several times as we saw it. The first time he prophesied, all the army came together. There was a noise, and bone to bone, skin to skin, but there was still no breath. Then he needed to release another prophecy. The Lord says in verse 9, prophesy to the breath, prophesy, son of man, say to the breath, thus says the Lord God. And then only when he prophesied the second time, breath came. So each word that is uttered is important. Sometimes it's a scripture. When the uh, when the first time that we went through all the seven churches, the Lord specifically say, read this scripture at this church, at this city, in this place. So, we have to do that. So tonight especially, it's a mixture of the Word and the Spirit. And the Word is declared, the Spirit is still moving, and uh, the gift of prophecy is used sometimes to deliver a word. Give a prophecy is also sometimes called to call things to come together. And the prophecy was to the dry bones. It was not to a people who would be hearing. The dry bones are dead. There's no one hearing it. It's a prophecy of creation. So tonight we are releasing the creative word. Whether it be a written word, a written prophecy, a written vision, and uh, how will you do it? Like if you have a vision and you've written it down and you felt the energizing spirit, you must speak this vision out. And uh, as everyone is praying, you declare, I see this vision, I have this dream. This is what the Lord showed. This is the things that's happening. And then you release it and then you sit down. And uh, everyone will just keep doing your praying and worshiping all the time. And you're declaring it into the spirit dimension that is there. 
So we are, we are using a different function of the gift of prophecy or the gift of the spoken word. The gift of prophecy is normally like a fresh word that the Lord speaks and instruction. And then we have to put everything down and listen to what the Lord said. But in this, we are using the prophecy the same way Ezekiel used it. To prophesy uh, to the dry bones, to command the dry bones to come together, and then the command the dry bones to reach the army to receive life. In the book of Acts chapter 2, when the Holy Spirit comes down, it says among those things is in uh, verse 18, My men servants and my maid servants, I will pour out my spirit in those days, and they shall prophesy. So prophecy is sometimes a, a, a quickening of the spirit. And if they are all prophesying together, who is doing the hearing? The angels, God, and of course our spirits can pick up all the time. Because our spirits are, are multitasking. You can pick up things in the spirit while you're doing something else. Uh, so the prophesying is just an energizing of God, that God is doing, which is what He wants to do. You see the same thing happening again in Acts chapter uh, 19, when um, the first group of disciples were baptized in the spirit and baptized in water. It says here, in verse 5, when they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And when Paul had laid hands on them, <coughs> the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke with tongues and prophesied. Just for the first time. And it just happening. It's just a quickening of the Spirit. And um, so that's what the Holy Spirit wants to do tonight. Tonight is a ministry of the Word and the Spirit together unto the Lord as we enter into that dimension. And so let's quicken into that. And as we enter into that dimension of uh, the prophecies of the Lord, releasing and commanding the mountains, the hills, the earth, commanding uh, nations and releasing things into the spirit, uh, into the dimension of God. Besides the reading the Bible, that you're allowed to come, besides uh, uh, reading a prophecy, and as the Lord comes and gives a fresh prophecy upon yourself to come and prophesy, go ahead. So uh, it is part of the pattern in the Lord, which is seldom is available on Sunday in the book of uh, 1 Corinthians, chapter 14. This was a practice of the mature church they could do. It says in verse 5, uh, verse 3 to 5, he who prophesies speaks edification and exhortation and comfort to man. He who speaks in a tongue edifies himself, but he who prophesies edifies the church. So we have put into practice in our church praying in tongues as a group. All night prayer is a regular one, and we did that on the first day uh, uh, of this week uh, on Monday. And uh, then we also sang in the spirit corporately. So tonight is this prophesying while various things are happening in the spirit. And it says, I wish you all spoke with tongues, but even more that you prophesy. It says, for he who prophesies is greater than he who speaks with tongues, unless indeed he interprets that the church may receive edification. So it talks about the function of the gift of prophecy. He desired that all of us could prophesy. And... Uh, and at a certain point, as the spirit moves, you find that once the spirit of prophecy works, you can tap upon it and you begin to speak about the things that the Lord, Lord show, and just flow along with that. So, let the Holy Spirit lead you, guide you. How will you know that the spirit wants you to do something? You will feel a stirring of the spirit in you. A stirring so strong, he will never force you to come. He will never force you to do something. But you will feel a stirring so strong that it will be uncomfortable to remain where you are. So you know you just have to flow. And you just have to declare. You just have to speak for the Spirit while everybody is praying or worshipping or whatever in the Spirit. And you just have to uh, bring it forth. And then when you have done it and release it, you will find there is that peace. Like you have done something in the Spirit. And there's this peace and joy that just 
come and say, ah, you have released something in the Lord. Our only advice uh, tonight is do not grieve the Holy Spirit and do not quench the Holy Spirit. Grieving the Spirit is doing something He doesn't want us to do. Quenching is not doing something that He wants us to do. So neither grieve nor quench the Spirit, but flow with the Holy Spirit. And the Lord God will be pleased in the Lord, in, in, his, in his wonderful glory. So let's uh, worship the Lord a little bit and then we release into tongues. And then we create an atmosphere and allow everyone to flow forth. And I might start it off with Ezekiel and then sit down and all that while everybody is praying. So that we get the ball rolling and flowing in the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Shagabrahanga Mahangiriya Nana Mahastara Mara Maribiriya Nara Mosh Ine Arala Mahanga Brahmaha Siri Arala Mahanga Brahmaha Kibiri Kibiri Atara Bash Ura Mahanga Mahangi Biri Arala Mahanga Bahadi Kibiri Atara Mash Ingu Brahanga 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 Bariyan Nara Bahani Gala Mahastara Bash Kimene Gahanga Bahananga Lama Mahanga Mahangi Biri Anala Bahanga Bada Bash Aja kara mana kala mahanga bade ke ekafra ahsta ahala amba hambiri ada dehals kelinga berahanga bahanga bari anda ramahanga bara masa rada bas arra mangga bade kara mati ke gamwa hunga prohusian alam asta rabati dia tera mas nereka hanga bade ke beri anda ramahas tera malik ke beri anda ramang kebrabas Dara mahanga bariya neri atara bohosh Dara manenga marenge biriya nara bohunga probosh Hanga friya teriya nara mahanga badiki biriya nara mahanga badiki biriya tara bosh Kada mahanga maden kara bahasha tara bahashe kabra bosh tara boli kabra bosh Kabra hanga bahanan kala mahanga bahadiki biriya tara bosh Gara bahale ki vihinga fraha sharara mahanga bra mahanga bra bote ki biri atara bash Gura hanga bra mahange behedi andara bahanga la bahate ki biri atara bash Gura maha chenga bahali hinda vahashto bra mahale ki bra bash Gara mahange behedi antara bahale ki biri atara bahanga bra bosh tara bash Hara mahali ke mele andara bahanga bati ke behinda na mahanga prabashtiri anara mas Inga prabahashtara mahala ke prabahashtara mahala ke prabash Kubarahala nga mahasi ke mahanengara mahati ke bidi anara mas Hanga mari anene mahari karaba and you can move about, you can stand, you can kneel, you can move about and you can do whatever the Lord leads you. Let's flow in the Holy Spirit even tonight. Nama hanga praba hashti ka prama hana kalabash. Nere nga mahanga mari anara mahashti eri anara manga maramas. Nere anara mahanga mahale meri anara mahanga bari anere meri anara mash. Nehayariyahanga masharamani meri anaramash Haramalinga mahanga manyangara mahajegara mash Inge meri anaramahanga bari gara mahanga bara mash Hale meri anaramani inge mehinga bara mash Tura mahyagara mash Haramani inge meri anahinara mahashtara malanga mash Hara mahange beriya na mahanga mahinga na mash. Hara mahanga mahinge mehinge beriya na mahanga mara mash. Hara mahanga beriya na mahanga balega na mash. Hanga bahara mahinga bahange beriya na mahanga bromosh tiri arada mas. Hara mahanga bahada gara mash. Thank you, Lord. We worship you. Hara mahanga frosh tara mash. O oh, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, Surely I will cause breath to enter into you, and you shall live. I will put sinews on you, and bring flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and you shall live. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. Oh, thus says the Lord God, come from the four winds, O oh, breath, breathe on these slain, that they may live. 
Anga Brava Hasha Gabrava Halege Miria, Nada Manga Baramash, Vara Malege Miria, Nina Nada Mash, Tara Malega Baria Nada Mash, Nada Manga Mahange Miria, Nada Malege Miria Dada Mash, Holy Holy Lamahanga Madege Miria Nada Manga Brabash. Ara malenga bahanga mari kibiria nara mahanga bari miria nara mash. Ara malenga mahalenga manenga ra manenga ra mari kibiria dara bash. Ara manenga ra manenga ra manenga ra mashi kibiria nara mash. Hanga mahangi nara mara mara kibiria nara mash. Ara malenga manenga masha. Oh, yeah. 
with the garments of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness. And as a bridegroom gets himself with honor, and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels, for as a bride brings us as well, as the garden causes the things that are sown in which she spring forth, so the Lord of God will cause righteousness and praise to spring forth before all the nations.
ten horns are ten kings who shall arise from this kingdom, and another shall rise of the dead. They shall be different from the first ones, and shall subdue three kings. They shall speak long gospels against the Most High, shall persecute the saints of the Most High, and shall intend to change times and the law. Then the saints shall be given into his hand for time, and times and half a time. But the court shall be seated, and they shall take away his dominion, to consume and destroy it forever. Then the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdoms of the whole heavens shall be given to the people, the saints, and the most high. His kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominions shall serve and obey him.
shall go before you. The glory of the Lord shall be your anger. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry, and he will say, Here I am. If you take away the yoke from your feast, and pointing out the finger and speaking wickedness, if you extend your soul to the hungry, and satisfy the afflicted soul, then your light shall dawn in the darkness, and your darkness shall be as the noon day. The Lord will guide you continually, and satisfy your soul in drought, and strengthen your bones. You shall be like a watered garden, and like a spring of water, whose water do not fail. Those from among you shall build the whole waste places. You shall rise up the foundation of many generations, and you shall be called the repairer of the bridge, the restorer of streets to dwell in. If you turn away your foot from the Sabbath, from doing your pleasure from, on my holy day, and call the Sabbath of your life, the holy day of the Lord honorable, and shall honor him not doing your own ways, nor finding your own pleasure, nor speaking your own word, then you shall delight yourself in the Lord. And I will cause you to ride on the high hills of the earth, and feed you with the heritage of Jacob your father. The mouth of the Lord has spoken.
me, this is just me, your wife. Riches and honor are with me, enduring riches and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold, yes, than fine gold, and my revenue than choice silver. I traverse the way of righteousness in the midst of the paths of justice, that I may cause those who love me to inherit wealth, that I may feel their treasures. The Lord possessed me at the beginning of his way, before his words are full. I have been established from everlasting, from the beginning, before there was ever an earth. When there were no depths, I was brought forth, when there were no fountains abounding with water. Before the mountains were set up, before the hills, I was brought forth. While has yet he had not made the earth or the fields or the prima dust of the world, of the world. When he prepared the heavens, I was there. When he drew a circle on the face of the deep. When he established the cloud above, and when he strengthened the mountains of the deep. When he assigned to the sea its like its limit, so that waters would not transgress his command. When he marked out the foundations of the earth, then I was beside him as a master craftsman. And I was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him, rejoicing in his inhabited world. And my delight was with the Son of Man. Now therefore listen to me, my children, for blessed are those who keep my ways and hear instruction and be wise, and do not disdain it. Blessed is the man who listens to me, watching daily at my gate, waiting at the post of my door. For whoever finds me, finds life and obtains favor from the Lord. But he who sin sin against but he who sin against me wrongs his own soul. And all those who hate me love death. Let it pass of God, who gives to all liberally and without reproach, and it be given to him. But let it pass in faith without doubting. For he who doubts is like a wave of the sea, driven and tossed by the wind. For let not that man suppose that he receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man, and stable in all his ways. Faith in God, for surely I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. Therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask, when you pray, believe that you will see them.
26. Moreover, the light of the moon will be as the light of the sun, and the light of the sun will be sevenfold, as the light of seven days. And the day that the Lord binds up the bruise of his people will heal the stroke of their wound. John 17, 20. Jesus prays for all the lovers. I do not pray for these alone, but also for those who will believe in me through your words. That this all may be one as you, Father, are in me and I in you. That they also may be one in us. That the world may believe that you sent me. And the glory which you give me, I give them, I have given them. That they may be one just as we are one. I in them and you in me. That they may be made perfect in us. That the world may know that you have sent me. And have loved them as you have loved me. Father, I desire that they also whom you gave me may be with me as where I am. That they may behold my glory which you have given me. For you love me before the foundation of the world. O oh, righteous Father, the world has not known you, but I have known you. And you have shown that sent me. And I have declared to them your name, and will declare it that the love with which you love me may be in them and I in them. Let it be done to us according to your word, Lord.
Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Oh 
that you come short in your gift, eagerly waiting for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ, who will also confirm you to the end, that you may be blameless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, by whom you were called into the fellowship of the Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in your righteousness. Bow down your ear to me. Deliver me speedily. Be my rock of refuge. A fortress of defense to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress. Therefore, for your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Pull me out of the net which they have secretly made for me. For you are my strength. Into your hand I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord, God of truth. I have hated those who regard the useless idols, but I trust in the Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in your mercy, for you have considered my trouble. You have known my soul in adversities, and have not shut me up in the hands of the enemy. You have set my feet in a wide place. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. My eye raised away with grief, yes, my soul and my body. For my life is spent with grief, and my ears with sighing. My strength fails because of my iniquity, and my bones raised away. I will reproach among all enemies, but especially among my neighbors. And in my house, to my acquaintances, those who see me outside, flee from me. I am bothered like a day, and on fire I will let go. Broken vessel, for I hear the slander of men, and the fears on every side want to take my soul together against me. The sin to take away my life. If I ask for you, I trust in you. Thank you. 
upon you, for you will hear us, O God. Incline your ear for us and hear our speech. Show your marvelous loving kindness by your right hand. Oh, you who save those who trust in you from those who rise up against us. Keep us as the apple of your eyes. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. From the wicked who oppress your people, from our daily enemies who surround. As for we, your people in COG, we will see your face in righteousness. We shall be satisfied when we awake in your likeness. We will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall we be saved from our enemies. For you will light our lamps. The Lord our God will enlighten our darkness. For by you we can run against the truth. And by our God, we can leap over a wall. For you are our shield and our support. Arm us with strength for the battle. Subdue us under, subdue us, under us, those who rose up against us. Give us the necks of our enemies. Deliver us from the strivings of the peoples. You have made us the head of the nations. Therefore, we will give you thanks, O Lord, and sing praises to your name. The Lord lives. Blessed be our rock. Let the blood of our salvation be exalted. All the ends of the world shall remember and turn to the Lord. And all the families of the nation shall worship before you. For the kingdom is the Lord's and he rules over the nations. In the fear of the Lord there is strong confidence. And your children in COG and their families and loved ones will have a place of refuge. You will impart knowledge to them to know that the fear of the Lord is a person of life. Turn one away from the snares of death.
how in those times many shall rise up against the king of the south. Also violent men of your people shall exalt themselves in fulfillment of the vision, but they shall fall. So the king of the north shall come and build this siege of Ur, and take a fortified city, and the forces of the south shall not withstand him. Even his choice troops shall have no strength to resist. But he who comes against him shall do according to his own will, and no one shall stand against him. He shall stand in the glorious land with destruction in his power. He shall also set his face to enter with the strength of his whole kingdom, and upright ones with him, thus shall he do. And he shall give him the daughter of woman to destroy it, but she shall not stand with him or be for him. After this, he shall turn his face to the coastlands, and shall take many, but the ruler shall bring the reproach against them to an end, and with the reproach removed, he shall turn back on him. Then he shall turn his face towards the fortress of his own land, but he shall stumble and fall and not be found. They shall arise in his place one who imposes taxes on the glorious kingdom, but within a few days he shall be destroyed, but not in anger or in battle. And in his place shall arise a vile person to whom they will not give the honor of royalty, but he shall come in peaceably and seize the kingdom by a trick. With the force of a flood, they shall be swept away from before him and be broken, and also the prince of the covenant. And after the league is made with him, he shall act deceitfully, for he shall come up and become strong with a small number of people. He shall enter peaceably, peaceably, even into the richest places of the province. And he shall do what his fathers have not done, nor his forefathers. He shall disperse among them and plunder, spoil and riches, and he shall devise his plans against the strongholds, but only for a time. He shall stir up his power and his courage against the king of the south with a great army, and the king of the south shall be stirred up to battle with a great and mighty army, but he shall not stand, for they shall devise plans against him. Yes, those who eat of the portion of his delicacies shall destroy him. His army shall be swept away, and many shall fall down slain. Both this king's heart shall be bent on evil, and they shall speak lies at the same heaven, but it shall not prosper. For the end will still be at the appointed time, while returning to his land with great riches, his heart shall be moved against the holy covenant, so he shall be damaged and return to his own land. At the appointed time he shall return and go toward the south, but it shall not be like the former or the latter, for ships from Cyprus shall come against him. Therefore he shall be grieved and return in rage against the holy covenant and do damage. So he shall return and show regard for those who forsake the holy covenant. And forces shall be mastered by him, and they shall defile the sanctuary fortress, and they shall take away the daily sacrifices and place there the abomination of desolation. Those who do wickedly against the covenant, he shall corrupt with flattery. But the people who know their God shall be strong and carry out great exploits. And those of the people who understand shall instruct many, and for many days they shall fall by sword and flame, by captivity and plundering. Now when they fall, they shall be aided with a little help, but many shall join with them by intrigue, and some of those of understanding shall
shall be overthrown, but this shall escape from his hand. Edo, Moab, and the prominent people of Ammon, he shall stretch out his hand against the countries, and the land of Egypt shall not escape. He shall have power over the treasures of gold and silver, and over all the precious things of Egypt. Also the Libyans and the Tobias shall follow at his heels. But news from the east and the north shall trouble him. Therefore he shall go out with great fury to destroy and annihilate many. And he shall plant the tents of his glorious, of his palace between the seas and the glorious holy mountain. Yet he shall come to his end, and no one, no one will help him. At that time Michael shall stand up, the great prince who stands watch over the sons of your people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that time. And at that time your people shall be delivered. Everyone who is found written in the book, and many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall wake, some to everlasting life, some to shame and everlasting contempt. Those who are wise shall shine like the brightness of the firmament, and those who turn many to righteousness like the stars forever.
must prophesy against above many people, nations, tents, and kings. Father, in Jesus' name, I stand in this holy land, holy church. I want to pray the nations always stand up and worship you are the king of king, Lord of Lord. And thank you for all the king's heart become softer and come back to you and worship our king of king and lord of lord and every time we confess you are the king of king lord of lord every knee will shall bow and say this is the god we worship jesus christ holy spirit and holy father and thank you i proclaim this theology church is is a glory church and I proclaim Pastor Johan, Magisitan Peter, the voice Christ at midnight. And Father Lord, I proclaim every word he speaks is the is full of discipline of love, the word it came out to help the people and nature will come back to you and worship you and love you and do the entire work. And thank you for all the ten churches who do choose by by the Lord Jesus Christ and obey the words what Pastor Johan said. Thank you, Father Lord. Thank you for this. You choose see how to just become a virgin. Yes, Lord, we will do it. We will obey your voice and you will obey your words. Every word you speak to us, we will see you in our heart and you will add out and do your perfect words according to your perfect will in this COG church. Our Lord Jesus Christ would love it. Thank you, Father Lord, in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Thank you. 
a ring, it was five clicks old. And then I heard my bride.
now shall come to pass, if you diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God, who observe carefully all his commandments which I command you today, that the Lord your God will set you high over all nations of the earth, and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you, because you obey the voice of the Lord your God. Blessed shall you be in the city, and blessed shall you be in the country. Blessed shall be the fruit of the body, the produce of the ground, and the increase of the herds, the increase of the cattle, and the offspring of the flocks. Blessed shall be your basket and your needle. Blessed shall you be when you come in, and blessed shall you be when you go out. For the Lord will cause your enemies to rise against you, and leave them before your face. They shall come out against you one day, and flee before you seven ways. Then all the people of the earth shall see that you are called by the name of the Lord. And the Lord shall, and they shall be afraid of you. And the Lord shall grant you plenty of fruit in the fruit of your body, in the increase of your livestock, and in the produce of the ground. In the land of which the Lord swore to give to you, your fathers to give to you. For the Lord will open to you his big treasure, the heavens to give the way to your land in his season. And to bless all the work of your hand, and you shall bend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. And the Lord will make you the head and not the tail. And you shall be above only and not beneath. If you keep the commandments of the Lord your God, which are commands you today, and are careful to observe them. So you shall not turn aside from any of the words which I command you this day, in the right or the man, to go up to other gods to serve the day, or to serve the Lord your God.
Who art thou, O great mountain? Before Zerubbabel that shall be, become a plague, he shall bring forth the headstone thereof with shouting, crying, Grace, grace unto it. For over the one of the Lord came unto me, saying, The hands of Zerubbabel have laid the foundation of this house. His hands shall also finish it. Thou shalt know that the Lord of hosts has sent me unto you. For who hath despised the day of small things? For they shall rejoice and shall see the movement in the hand of their father. With those seven, they are the eyes of the Lord, which run to and fro throughout the whole earth. Then answered I and said unto me, What are these two olive trees upon the right side of the candlestick? And upon the left side thereof? I answered again and I said unto him, What be these two holy branches which through the golden pipes empty the golden oil out of themselves? And he said unto me, Knowest thou what this be? And I said, No, my Lord. Then said he, These are the two anointed ones that stand by the Lord of the whole earth. So I like to take the oil and we pass it around and just before you pass the oil Enoch and Elijah were in our midst today and Elijah said especially Elijah said he is very pleased to see the work of prophecy in our midst he visited us before the last time that he was observing prophecy was in September 2013 and he was watching and it was more young people trying to prophesy and when the prophet asked how is it Elijah said but tonight 
He is well pleased. He is well pleased. And God is well pleased. The testimony of Jesus Christ is the spirit of prophecy. And today it is sealed upon your lives. As this all is passed down, and those online too, you receive it as you anoint thyself. We pass this all and seal that spirit of prophecy in your life. The day will come when you will stand in a glorious church and prophesy to the mountain and it will move. You prophesy to the hills and they will break. You will prophesy before the prophets of Baal and they shall all be consumed by fire. You shall prophesy against the work of darkness and they will all crumble and become dust. You shall prophesy and dead bones shall live. You shall prophesy and the dead shall be raised. You shall prophesy and arms and legs will grow. You shall prophesy and diseases, cancers and lungs will drop from people's life. You shall prophesy and they will see their youth renew as as baby skin, you shall prophesy and create a miracle shall take place. For you shall speak the word, and heaven and earth will tremble at the word of God that flows through the glorious church. In Jesus' name, Amen.
this life. Seal the testimony of our Lord Jesus Christ in the spirit of prophecy. From tonight onwards, as you prophesy over your life, you will create as Ezekiel created. Prophesy over your family when you go back tonight. Prophesy over your business. Prophesy over your family, your loved ones. Prophesy over your ministry. Prophesy to the mountains, to the hills, to the rivers, to the seas, to the oceans, to the lakes. Prophesy to the thousands. Prophesy to heaven, to earth, the sky, to sand, to sea, to tree. Prophesy. And the creative power of God, the four winds of the Spirit, the seven spirits of God will flow through your lips and through your words and bring forth your bountiful harvest your bountiful miracles released tonight in his holy presence in jesus name hey, hey, hey. Glorious. Hallelujah.